Hello! Let's take a look at the super cool new features in version 0.5 of the Typography plugin for Tailwind CSS version 3. Here's the code for the example we're looking at. So we have an article, inside of it we have a title, and then for the body of the article, we're injecting some markdown. Here's the markdown, and we're going to make the assumption that this would be coming from an external source, like a CMS. Here's what our page looks like for now. So we have the title, and then for the body of the article, which is the markdown content, we have a completely unstyled typography. Let's install the typography plugin, and I'm going to install the latest version so I can show you the cool new features. Okay, great. Next, let's require this plugin in our config file. With that in place, in the element that wraps our markdown, I will add a class of pros. And that one class will do us a great service by applying typographic styles to its children elements, making sure any type of content looks great and well balanced. Font sizes, font weight, colors, list styles, spacing, block quotes, and a lot more stuff. Now let's take a look at some of the new things we've added in the version 0.5 update for Tailwind 3. Tailwind 3 includes five grays out of the box, and it makes sense that you'd want your typography to match the grayscale you've chosen for your site. Our project currently uses the default shade of gray, but let's say here we were using the stone shade instead, which is a warmer gray. In that case, we'd want our typography to be consistent with this warmth, and we can do so by setting the class pros stone. And that will redefine our pros colors to use the stone shade of grays. If instead the project was using the slate shade of gray, which is the coolest and bluest shade of gray, then here we'd want to use pros slate. And hopefully you can see the difference on the video. Right now we're changing the background color of our page and the text color of our title for dark mode. I'll switch to dark mode in my OS settings and our beautiful typography has fallen apart. Well, check this out. I'm going to add a class of dark pros invert. And with that one class, we have a perfectly acceptable baseline for our typography in dark mode. Despite the name, the pros invert class isn't just a naive automatic color inversion. It actually switches to a set of totally handcrafted colors picked by the expert designers at Tailwind Labs. It also respects the base color that you've chosen. So here, our dark mode typography still uses bluish slate grays. I've added a bit of markup inside our pros wrapper just to make a quick demo. In previous versions of the plugin, you couldn't override the typography styles directly on an element with utilities. So doing something like this, text pink 500, would not work because the pros selectors had higher specificity. Well, technically you could, but you had to prefix your class with an important modifier to make it win the specificity battle. In version 0.5, the specificity of the pros styles is reduced and so you can apply a simple utility and it will take over the pros styles. But generally a much better approach here is to define your styles on the pros wrapping parent. If I type pros dash, you see we now have that list of selectors like h1234, paragraph, anchor tag, block quotes, and many more, which allow us to style any element inside of the pros block. So if I wanted to style the headings level two, I would use pros h2, and then I can do something like text indigo 500. And there you go, our level two heading is now Indigo 500. If I scroll up, you'll see that level three headings are still dark gray. And since quite often you'd want all the headings to have the same color, there is also a handy pros headings modifier, which will apply utilities to all headings. So now our level two headings are Indigo 500 and so is the level three heading. Let's also style our links like these two here. And to do that, I will use pros A and we'll make these links text teal 600 and on hover we'll make the pros a text till 500. Let's take a look. Yep, very nice. But if I switch to dark mode, I think these links are just a little bit too dark. So let's handle that here. Dark pros a text till 500. And then for dark, when we hover the pros a, we want the text to be text till 400. All right, so yeah, it looks nicer. So now we got good looking links both on dark and light mode. Next, let's add a few styles to our image here. So I'll go pros image rounded to XL and pros image shadow MD. Yep, that's looking really, really nice. And we're going to do one more thing. I want this pre tag here to be slightly indigo so it looks nice with the headings. So pros pre and for the background color 
we'll go with BG Indigo 100 and Pros Pre Text Indigo 800. That's looking really good, but it's probably going to be a bit too bright for dark mode. So for dark mode, Pros Pre, the background will be Indigo 900 and Dark Pros Pre Text Indigo 100. And yeah, I think that looks great. You may end up with tons of classes on this pros wrapper, but this is typically something you could abstract away as a component. Something like a markdown wrapper UI component that you can use everywhere where you need to apply typography styles. Say that somewhere within our pros wrapper, in the middle of text, we want to display this testimonial here. So I've got this as a component. That's our pros wrapper with the markdown content. And inside this wrapper, I've added a couple of paragraphs of text. And in between paragraphs, we've got our testimonial component. But if we scroll down on the article to see what it looks like, it definitely doesn't look like we want. What happens is our prose styles are competing with the component styles. For example, the block quote now has this border left here and the quote marks as well. Our avatar is kind of wonky and the text here is now italic. In certain situations like this one, you may want to opt out of the pro styles for something that sits within a pros wrapper. And there's a way to do just that. I'll wrap the testimonial in a div, and here we'll apply a class of not pros, which is sort of a flag to prevent elements from inheriting pro styles. And our testimonial now looks just as it should without any interference from the pro styles, even if it sits within the pros container. And there we go, we've customized our typographic styles without ever leaving our HTML, which we think is a much nicer developer experience than having to work with a complicated CSS and JavaScript syntax in the config file. Our typography looks great in both light and dark mode, and you can easily imagine how you could customize it further based on your specific needs. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Be good till then.